It's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com, and the time has come to make these query string values that we're now reading meaningful in the Pipulate project and to break the hard wiring to a particular spreadsheet and to start making this thing finally useful in general. And so <clears throat> we start by jumping down to where uh, If go in requests, well, uh, that it just gives the green light to, to start processing. We are going to be interested in a Google spreadsheet uh, key. So you'll see here that every uh, Google spreadsheet and every Google document, for that matter, has a fairly large key uh, embedded into the URL. You can get it by going into the URL like that or you can get it by hitting share and it'll give you, I believe, a shorter version. I think it's the same document you will actually see in a second. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I think I have to reduce the size, get shareable link. And I believe it's the same key. Okay, that's in my copy buffer now. Uh, we're going to go to uh, where we actually need it. And you can see that we're opening the uh, Google spreadsheet by uh, name of the file. Uh, it's called use this. And uh, we're going to need to look at the gspread documentation for a moment to make sure that uh, when you switch to reference by key, uh, the API call is the same. So that would be gspread. It's the first guy in GitHub. They build the documentation right into the bottom. It's really good. Uh, idea I might try and do more of that but at any rate open underscore by underscore key and what we were using is just open so we put underscore by underscore key right after open and put the key value in there so we're going to take this in, in steps first thing we're going to do is uh, paste that in there just so that we have it around and we'll turn it into a comment and by key and the key that goes in there now is this one okay, operating system copy and then I should be able to do a operating system paste right into location. And uh, the first test is to, oh, I hate it. I pipe breaking all the time. I'm going to have to look at how to keep that connection from uh, breaking. First thing we're looking for is for question mark replacement to still actually be happening. So we'll put those question marks back in. We only really need one for testing, but it's fun to see more than one get replaced. Make sure this code is saved. Make sure I saved it. And now we are addressing this spreadsheet by key rather than by name. Not available. Yep, oh, there it goes. It was just the uh, server starting up. Question marks are replaced. Now we can pass it uh, on the URL. So 
the next thing to do is to uh, bring it in. Uh, I'm going to bring it in through a global. We're going to make up a new globs dot something. Globs dot dot key. G dot key. G key. There's nothing that else that's going to be used in the system that could be called a G key. Uh, that's our Google spreadsheet document key. And then I'll tab E globs.py shift O G key equals, and this is just going to be a string value, so I just initialize it with uh, double quotes, it's an empty value, but now it's going to be carried around as global. You can quit out of that, that has done its job, and <clears throat> now we need to set that as soon as the opportunity exists to see a, uh, a parameter called G key on the URL, and that is it is right here. We're looking for go in request.args, but we'll actually look for now G key. And now we do actually care about that, that value. Um, you will remember that these global objects are being carried around in kind of a container. And no matter where you update it, it updates it globally. So if we go uh, globs.gkey equals request.args.get. G key. Yes, indeed. And now, even if we give it the go command, question marks should not be replaced unless we feed in the correct uh, key on the URL. And that's actually quite interesting because. Uh, we might create errors because this could try and open documents in Google Docs at random, anybody's document out there. And it will should only be able to open ours because of permission issues. So, first of all, we do a refresh here, do nothing. Even though uh, Go is, yeah, so it's not looking for Go anymore, it's looking for G key. So we're going to try G key. It's probably going to generate an error. Oh, replace the question marks. Okay, we get the message as if it replaced the question marks, but it can't really. Okay, I think I have a try except around the opening of the, of the Google Doc. So G key equals, let's see if I still have it in my copy buffer. I do not. I need to get that again. I have it still in that comment down there, I believe. Sorry for the pain of that. Copy. Paste. If this works, we can apply this system against any Google Doc. Voila! Big, big move forward. Big setup and staging for moving this over to bookmarklets because to build such a URL as this one, you simply click on a bookmarklet like that with the Google Doc you want displaying in here. Actually, I should point here. You'll be looking at something that has the question mark staged. You'll hit some sort of bookmarklet and I could either make it happen invisibly or more likely I pop up a tab and it says replacing question marks and then you'd go back to this tab and you'd see the question marks getting replaced. That's how I am dealing with uh, not having bad form of popping an iframe open inside of uh, Google Spreadsheets, which is a secure site and lots of things are shutting down those uh, possibilities of doing uh, anything that looks like cross-site scripting. So instead of trying to share a 
JavaScript execution context and just open a new tab, it creates a new sandbox, uh, pass the baton over of a few values on the query string like selected text and the uh, URL that you are looking at, extract the key, build that URL, bam, uh, system is useful. I just need to replace func1 and func2 with things like title, meta, tweets, plus ones, and, uh, and create that bookmarklet. Uh, join me again, and uh, hope to talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.